On your Garmin Instinct, you can configure your watch face the way you want by pressing and holding the menu button and then select with the GPS button, watch face. From here, you can use the up and down button to select the interface you would like to have. Uh, the first one will be the black one and then the other one just will be the same thing in two reverse. So select the uh, interface you like the most. Personally, this is the one I like the most. And when you're satisfied, uh, hit the GPS button to confirm. And then you're going to have another option and it will be to customize everything that, that is onto that interface. So again, use the GPS button to customize. And then as you can see, uh, this one is blinking. So if we use the up and down button, we can go to a screen to another. Let's go for the definition of all of these things. Uh, this one show a moon, which is the do not disturb mode. It also showed a battery, uh, the alarm clock and the phone and why there is four of these things on this screen. So you've got the battery, which is obvious, will we'll always show you the battery level. Uh, the moon will tell you if the do not disturb mode is enabled or not. The alarm clock will tell you if uh, there is an alarm clock incoming or not. And the phone will tell you if your phone is connected or not. It will tell you if it is connected or not by showing it or not. So if you see the alarm clock, this means that there is an alarm clock incoming. And if it goes away, it's because there's not. Uh, so yes, I go up and down to uh, switch it. Uh, if you just want to see the battery level, you can get it. Uh, this will show you the uh, date. So we are Monday 24. Uh, so the day of the week and the day of the month. Or you can also have the month and the day of the month. Uh, your heart rate. So if uh, maybe I put my hand just behind it, it will start to catch my heart rate or maybe not, whatever. This will show you uh, full time your heart rate. Uh, this is how many step you've done today. Uh, this is the actual elevation. So actually I am at 150 meter in altitude. Uh, this is the atmospherical pressure. This is the actual atmospherical pressure, 1024. And the arrow indicate if uh, the pressure going up, down or stable. So the, the pressure is actually stable. Uh, this is uh, the sunset time. Uh, and this is going by a next occurrence. So uh, the sun will set at 2023. 20, and at this time, when the sun will set, uh, I will see the sunrise time. Uh, then I've got the number of notification there is on the phone that is paired with uh, the actual watch. Uh, this calendar is, um, actually, I don't have any meetings or something uh, set into my phone, but this would tell uh, when is your next uh, appointment or something. Uh, now, with 18, is the actual temperature outside. Uh, this is based on the, uh, the last location, the watch record, uh, or your phone location. And actually, it's 18 outside. This is your calorie burn uh, from this morning. This is the number of floors you have climbed today. This is the intensity minutes. So how much time your heart rate go high since this morning? How, how much time have you been active uh, today? Uh, UTC for Universal Time Clock, which is uh, the time at uh, uh, the zero uh, time zone. This seems to be the actual sun position into the sky. So it kind of illustrated a bit of the same thing as this one. 
so sunset will set at 2023 but uh yeah it show it into an image this is the moon phase uh it's the moon phase yeah and basically we are coming back to these exact same thing have we have have seen before except that now the background is black and the text is white when you're satisfied uh, you have uh, let's say i want to uh, i want this i want to know that we are may 24 or no i, I want my heart rate so i select this one and then i select with the gps button to confirm and if you've gone wrong and you want to change something you can press on set to come back and modify it so when you're satisfied you hit the gps button i say gps but that's the confirmation button and this will take us to uh, the next step so this is uh, the graphic uh, there is a fewer option the first one will be a graphic showing you how much step you have done into your day uh, so the number of step and show it to you on on a graphic uh, this is your heart rate for the day again on a graphic this is the elevation of the day and this is the atmospherical atmospherical pressure of the day what do you want i uh, will go for the altimeter then uh, on the bottom you have two information that you can have uh, first one will be the battery uh, again uh, monday 24 24 may number of steps altimeter atmospherical pressure uh, if you want to know if the atmospherical pressure is stable going high or going lower uh, next occurrence so sunset um, notification on your phone next appointment calorie burns floors climb intensity minute and the battery level uh, and then when you select it you will come to the second one and then you can choose something else if you want so let's say for floor climbs or no the date should be good make 24 then select and it's done this is your new watch face so basically you navigate with up and down you select with uh, the gps button and you go back with the set button and when you have done all the tour well your new watch face is just right there so this is it thank you for watching i hope it helps if yes please smash the like button if you are planning to buy this watch you can see my link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help. If you want to see my other tutorial about this watch, you can see my playlist just right here. And you can also find me on my main channel just right there. Thank you for watching. Take care. <laughs> see ya.